so I feel really nervous. Not gonna lie, the reason I'm filming today is because I need you. Like I need the social interaction and I need to talk to someone right now. There are two reasons why I'm nervous right now, but we are going away tomorrow on a couple's treat. A couple's retreat, some would say. We are going to our friend's holiday house with him, the owner of the house, his wife, they're a newlywed couple, and another couple who are a newlywed couple, plus myself, Kurt, and Fox. And here's the thing, I love our friends, and our friends are very flexible, understanding, and loving towards Fox. Everyone loves Fox. But I say to them a lot of the time, you think you know what it's like to have a toddler until you have a toddler, until you live with a toddler, because they see the best of the best. Like, we go to the park with Brent and Beth, Taylor, Jack, we go to dinner with them, they see little pockets of Fox at his peak. Usually, old school Sarah, or like, regular Sarah would say thank you for the offer to go to your holiday house for this lovely retreat I'm gonna pass I'm gonna stay home with Fox we're just gonna have a chill weekend at home I'm stepping outside my comfort zone and like I shared with you openly and honestly two vlogs ago we want to have a baby soon okay I just figure when we have a toddler and a newborn I'm not going anywhere I'm not going on a couple's retreat I'm not going anywhere I will be here always trying to survive getting myself out of the fetal position I feel like I'm going into that very realistic it's gonna be hard moral of the story is I was like you know what let's say yes let's go on this trip while we have one toddler while we can do these things and like kind of make it work but I'm really nervous because like I ran into Beth who we're going away with and she was like I'm so excited to play board games and like play Scrabble and just go for coffee dates and I was like <laughs> My toddler eats Scrabble pieces and when we try to sit down and have coffee he just wants to smash the coffee and play at the park which is great, but I don't think the other couples are gonna appreciate toddler time. So that is the first reason why I'm nervous. I put a lot of pressure on myself as like a friend and a mum, and making sure everyone's happy. I want everyone to be happy and not feel like they have to tread on eggshells for Fox. Anyway, that's the first reason I'm nervous. The second reason, why am I nervous? There was two reasons why I was nervous. Oh. Yeah, right, okay, vlogging in public and vlogging around my friends, it's a thing that I have not done since before COVID even really begun. Like, honestly, scroll through my, okay, my hens party. That was kind of different. I have not vlogged a social trip or like my friends or other people in what feels like honestly two years. Number one, I feel like I'm older now and I, I was making a coffee by the way. I actually have an update to my coffee re coffee recipe. Like, what does that even mean? Like, coffee's coffee, but I have added two things in because I feel like it has stopped me feeling like a crash from coffee and the bitterness goes away. Let me just wash this and then I'll go into why I'm nervous. Like I was saying, I have not vlogged around people in so long. Number one, I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. Like I'm so used to having a camera in my face. Like I've been on YouTube for eight years and like what you see is what you get. But I can totally appreciate that not everyone is like that. And it's pretty weird and taboo to like film playing Scrabble and film waking up in the morning and making a coffee. But to me, it's normal. I don't want people to feel like they can't have their normal conversations or like go about their day because there's a camera. Apparently it's gonna be like under 10 degrees, which in Sydney and for Sydney ciders is freezing for us. Like that is cold. By the way, I'm doing half a teaspoon of Mason's mushroom. So this says it's a medicinal mushroom handpicked to support immunity, gut health, hormone function, the nervous system. These potent adaptogenic herbs boost vitality and encourage longevity. So I'm really into this. I have half a teaspoon and not gonna lie, I have two coffees a day. So I do this twice and I put these things in twice. <gasps> No spillage. Oh, I just got that from my health food store. These are amazing for brain function. So this is the MCT oil powder from Chupika. It says it's a good source of healthy fats, a great option for a ketogenic diet. I'm not keto, but I have done a lot of research in terms of MCT oil and cognitive function and helping you concentrate. But I just mix that into the coffee and then I kind of go backwards and I put like this really bad. It's really yummy, but it's like not very good for you. It's the Milk Lab coconut milk and yeah, it's like, it's not great for you, but like I've mentioned before, I pick my battles and I love coffee. So like I'm having a little bit of good and a little bit of bad. So anyway, we leave tomorrow in the morning. It's gonna be the long weekend. So the traffic is gonna be bad. So we're gonna leave in the morning and Fox is at my mom's today so I can kind of organize everything. So I'm gonna pack all of our stuff. We're only going for Friday, Saturday, Sunday because Kurt is off to Queensland on Monday. Kurt is so busy right now. I could literally do a vlog on like how roles have reversed and like I just wanna be this stay at home mom and Kurt's like out working in the office. I love it for us. Let me take this way. It's going to get loud in a second. 
And also, yes, I have my extensions in. I was just in the mood to have a long, beautiful mane. Probably best decision of the morning. This weather is really not working in my favor. Have a look at this. Like that is cold, like 16 degrees maximum. We're gonna work with it. Let's go pack my bag first and then we'll tackle Fox's because Fox has this thing right now where he hates jackets and jumpers. So I can't wait to manage his tantrums in front of a crowd. I know in the past I've said no shoes upstairs and I was gonna be that house, but we're just not that house. And I'm showing you my outfits because I got some new stuff, but here's my thing. This is the suitcase I'm gonna take. It's even kind of a bit excessive for three days. But like the hard thing is when it's like a friend holiday, we're going out to dinner. We're going out to like this nice dinner and then we're doing coffees and then we're gonna do a workout. There's so many different aspects of this holiday, which means so many different clothes. And I've just put shoes on with this outfit, which is like my chill home outfit, but I think I love it. Like, I think I should get changed right now and not get it dirty because I think I want to pack it for tomorrow. I feel like I could go to coffee in it. I couldn't really do dinner, but like it's chill. Wow, this is a very 2017 YouTube angle. But if you like anything in this portion of the vlog, no, honestly, if you like this outfit or the ones I'm about to show you because there's some juicy ones in here, then I suggest you get it now because it is currently 30% off site-wide, excluding collaborations because it's White Fox's end of financial year sale from the 25th of June until the 20th. 9th of June. So use my code Sarah and you get 30% off everything I'm about to show you. But if you see this vlog after that date, then you still can use the code and get 15% off. But this outfit, not the shoes, the pants on the top are included in 30%. So yeah, I wanted to show you the bottom of these because they're like a quilted fabric. They're so cool with the pockets. What I was going to wear it with, but it's going to be too cold now. Let me just get changed. I'm sorry, but how cool is this? Like comfortable, you can still move, but you could get the coolest Instagram picture in this. But yeah, I just, I don't think it's very appropriate for the weather. So the top is the same fabric as the bottoms. Again, I'm not wearing a bra underneath, who cares? But even this with like a denim jacket, that could be really cool. This jumper, I honestly have this in so many different colors. Can I just wear it with the jumper? Is the white and gray, is it too light? Like, is that weird? That's pretty cool. Like with a bag, that is cool. I need, I need a mirror up here, people. I need a mirror. You guys are my mirror. Do we like this? Comment below. Like, do you like the white and the gray? together if not I have two new favorite jeans whenever I love a pair of jeans and I wear it on my vlog I get so many questions so I'm gonna put on my two new favorite pairs which I think everyone needs I love them I'm so picky with jeans I feel like everyone's very picky with jeans but I'm only 162 centimeters so oftentimes jeans are like too long for me anyway whatever I just feel like I'm like an awkward height they never look good on me but these are like supposed to be baggy I love them so I'm technically an extra small but I got a small in these because I do like when they're a little bit bigger I find it really uncomfortable if it's like super tight on me and I just like the look a bit better when they're kind of a bit floppy and I also want to grow into them like again I'm being being very presumptuous here but if I do get pregnant soon I want to be able to grow into my clothes but yeah I love these ones I will link everything in the description box below but even like how they're floppy around the ankles I can't decide if I like these jeans or the next ones so comment below what are your favorites so this is number one and this is pair number two I'm keeping the top kind of the same I've just rolled it up a tiny bit just so you can compare them properly but these ones I feel like are a little bit more high-waisted I feel like these run a tiny bit smaller so if you're like me and you're in between sizes I would go a little bit bigger but I I love how high-waisted these ones are and again I love the fluffiness like I'm glad we're not doing the ankle grazer anymore for me I just don't really think it suits me so what do we think option one or option two because for the weekend I think I want the other ones like these ones are probably more comfortable but I really love the slice like the cut in the other ones this is why I'm a bad packer because I just want to pack everything Okay, you're gonna love or hate this one. This is my favorite outfit that I'm gonna pack. I think it's just my favorite new outfit in my wardrobe right now. I love flares. I just think they're so comfortable, but they look kind of put together. Like they're not leggings, they're not tight. Like, I don't know, in my opinion, I think flares, like stretchy flares are the perfect combo of comfortable, but like you could still go to dinner. You could still go to breakfast and look really cool. I purposely picked this shirt in black because again, you can't, well, you cannot wear a bra and with black, you kind of can't tell as much but I love this I think I picked another new favorite I these are the same pants but in a different color in a cream this is my style like I feel I feel like this is where are my slippers where are my slippers where are my slippers this 
is what I'm gonna be spending the weekend in. Like, I think this is cool. Still fashion forward, still on trend with the flares and the zip and the branding, but like, so comfortable, so casual. I did try it on with the brown. I wasn't a massive fan of the brown and this is like a gray. Also, side note, I love it, I love it. I'm definitely gonna pack this one. I don't really have a mirror here, so you guys are my mirror. Like, what if you just kind of, I mean, no one really poses like this in real life. Why do we do that? Like. I put on an outfit to try on to go to brunch or to see my friends and then I do this. Like when do I wait in line for a coffee like this? Never. So I'm actually going to start packing but like I said if you like any of these pieces that I just showed from the 25th of June to the 29th of June use the code Sarah for 30% off. If you're watching this vlog after that time then you can still use the code but you'll just get 15% off. Time to actually pack. You tell them what happened to Abby. Yeah. Where did Abby go? Yeah. yeah, with Declan. Yeah. Abby is getting like babysat with our friend who minds dogs and it was sad, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Did you give her a hug goodbye though? Yeah. Yeah. She's going to have so much yeah. fun because she's going on holidays and we're going on holidays. Yeah. You excited for holidays? Cool. Say holidays. <laughs> holidays. Holidays. <laughs> Hodja. You look amazing. You look incredible. Put them back on again. Yeah, cool, dude. Say, so see y'all, we're gonna go. Yay, night night. Night night. <laughs> Let's go. minutes you've just been telling me I things like my, about uh, your ute. <laughs> I like my ute. I'm getting a fridge. I bought a fridge. I'm getting a double battery setup. Me and your dad get the same. We've got the same radios together. We're homeboys. Just before he was like we'll see what the boy uh, are the boys on channel two. Like who who is this Kurt? Yeah it's a bloody ripper. <laughs> oh my god! But we're in the long weekend traffic. We didn't leave early enough. I told you. I told you. I. We were both late. It was. I. We. <laughs> Lipstick in my Valentino. You went and trained. I went and trained at 7:45 in the morning. Hi. Yeah, I know, right? I know. We're stuck in traffic, and it's horrible. How far away are we? Oh, we are an hour away. Hour and three minutes and 30 seconds to be precise. What time is it? Three o'clock. I'm gonna. I'm probably not gonna be able to surf today. Oh, I might be able to. An hour. I'm going straight out. I'm sorry. Is that okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. But you act so much. I'm like, I don't care what you say. I'm going out. Is that alright? Okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not okay. No, you went. You went <laughs> did your gym session this morning, so it's dark and rainy now and a bit gloomy, but the vibes are high. Fox has been amazing. He's well, to be fair, he's been sleeping most of the time, but he's just been singing. Which is amazing. Which is amazing. He's been singing and having some lollies. 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 Did you have some lollies? Yeah. Was it yum? Say bye, guys. Talk to you later. <laughs> Say bye. Pa. See ya. Pa. No. Oh, oh here's on the way. <laughs> Are you, are, you, are you getting what he's saying? I don't saying? think it just got there. Ew, ew, no, ew, ew, dumb, no. What are you, what are you ewing back there? This is beautiful, mate. Like, look at this spot. We're like right on the water up here. How sick is it? Dumb. No, it's not dumb. All right, I think that's recording. Hi guys, it's Brenton and Jack's day. So, um, don't mind the mascara. We got, it was, it was a long night. Anyway, Kurt and Sarah are going to get some groceries at the moment. You know, Sarah's just left her belongings up here and before I went through her bags, I found this. It looks like a good gun. I'm just gonna kind of suss this out because it looks really fun. They say it feels good and people do say it's on special at the moment as well, by the way, if you jump on the website, thegoodgun.com.au. Anyway, I'm just gonna check this out. So, the good gun. Um, we're just gonna test this bad boy out. Uh, oh. Hear the moan. How's that feel? So good. So good. How's the glutes? So good. Thing the good. Oh. Yeah, that's a good moan. Look at those forearms. Yeah. Look at those guns. That's good. <laughs> You're a dick. That's good. <laughs> that's good. That is good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Hard pass. in public or like a friend situation in like five minutes. But it's us. 
This is Ben. Hello. Hi. And Tay downstairs. We'll circle you. So last night we went to dinner. It was delicious, but how would you but, say you feel now? Oh, we're salty ass. Like we can't take the rinse off. We have such fluid retention. I can't even breathe. I feel like I'm like just a walking garlic clove. Mm. Literally, like Actually, even when yeah. I'm talking, like I, you would not want to meet me today because I reek like garlic. But we're like, you know what's going to make us feel good? What makes us feel good is sweating. 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 So from home, Kurt and I brought oh, two 10 kilo dumbbells, a slam ball, a booty band, and we've written a little session. We're doing 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Beth has written it down. We've got 10 exercises. Courtesy of Fox. This is the session. Well, I'll put it on the screen when we do it anyway, but honestly, there's no purpose for the workout except like move and give us a poop. But I will say like, I haven't had a dinner that good yeah. in such, I never go out to dinner, so it was so good. So it's not on right now. Yeah, it is. But George is the editor. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Hi Georgia. Georgia. So, like how, so I'm vlogging right now, but I can say Georgia in this section, like Georgia a dog face. Section, show my butt. Do a dog face <laughs> over. Yeah. yeah. It's like, <laughs> shabuya, sha, sha, shabuya. No, we but, we, have but we, need we got it. You guys are better than me. You're like, let's go do it. Yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, I have a photo shoot in a week. You're having a wedding. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's in the pipeline though. That's still a while. And away. Taylor, you just want to do a poop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just want to poop out. Yeah. If you love garlic, come downstairs because that's what it smells like down there. <laughs> I wish that I was like over dramatic when I go to dinner and I'm like, oh, I feel like garlic. No, but you guys are like, like monkeys with a lot of garlic. That mm, was a lot of garlic. That was a lot of garlic. Like that's coming from the wok. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is, oh, I nearly just died. Whoa, there's a step. <laughs> this is our gym. That is a very dramatic step. That's I know. This was the original workout, we've changed it. These are the seven exercises we're gonna do and we're just gonna use the Sweaty Shredder timer on the Sezi app because it's just easy that way. How are we feeling? I'm actually not. Daddy's Fox, look here. Fox. Fox, look over here. <laughs> the dads are having a good time. <laughs> Yay! That looks so weird. Fox has joined us for 10 minute ad blaster. Say hey guys. Say hi. Oh, it's funny. Hi, Foxy. Hi, hi, hi. I'm actually, no, honestly, if I didn't have you guys, I would not have done that. I actually like the time of voice. You got this, three. <laughs> I know, I know, I hate me so much. My abs are on fire. But like the worst part, when I was puffing, I could just taste garlic. Also, don't come at us, this was accidental. Yeah, we should make a bag. Oh, the beige babes. We started yeah. beige. Yeah. Uh, insert four hours later. The girls have taken so long to get ready. No. We've, we haven't had breakfast yet and it's probably like one o'clock, 12.30, there you go. Are you ready for some food? Yeah. Yeah. Fox has been pretty good. <gasps> He's just walked in mud and he has socks on. Good, 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 good. Oh, you want the song? Okay. Oh, sorry. This is his favorite song at the moment. Who's this? Who is this? Ziggy? Hey, hey, so, take your dummy out and say who it is. We should go to markets and buy knitted blankets. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How cute is this yeah. though? Vegetarian. Yeah. Do you want to 
gonna go veggie this no, week? No, no, no. 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 What, why don't we do the plant-based challenge again? No, because I'm so hungry right now. So you can have tofu, nah. tempeh, nah. black beans, nah. chickpeas. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to all vegans or veggies out there, but I just do not, it, I just can't do it. I do not agree with the way you eat. <gasps> Rude! <laughs> 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 Normally Brenton's the well dressed one, but this Yeah bro, you look horrible. Yeah, no, it's all good. And the eyeliner. Yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah, Keep it coming. Makeup on this morning. Shut up! <laughs> Don't you love how we're parents wearing all white? Yeah, I know, idiots. Idiots. <laughs> you wanna sleep? Yeah. You're tired. Show me your hands. What have you done? Oh no. <laughs> I think he's got his second win. He's so tired, but yeah. like over tired now. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at you run, twinkle toes. No, that's not daddy's car. You tell me what one's daddy's, daddy's car. car. <laughs> that's no, that's not daddy's car. No. Daddy's car. That's no, not that's daddy's not car. Daddy's car. <laughs> oh, it's daddy's car. Oh, your shoe. Where's your shoe gone? Wait, how long ago did you lose a shoe? When, why do I have one shoe? <laughs> when, when, wait, when did you lose this? Where's your shoe? No, he had his shoe on running up here. I would have noticed. Literally in the middle of the road. <laughs> how did this happen? All right, come here and, and beat the horn, and then we're going to have to put you in your chair. Come on. Hurry up, beat the horn. Sit here, beat the horn. No, he's going in the back. Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you okay? You totally ate it. What happened? But he's so over this is the reality this of having a toddler. This is the reality of getting a toddler in a car seat when they're over. Look at him. All right, we just got home. Yeah, Foxy fell asleep on the way back, so we had to sneak him upstairs, put him into bed, and everyone else is going to grocery shop, I think, and get some stuff for dinner tonight. So me and Sarah have got the place to ourselves. We're just going to chill out. I dreamt this was our holiday house. Like, who has a holiday house like this? Brenton does. <laughs> Brenton's parents. Brenton's parents. parents. Brenton's parents, yeah. Brenton's like, come to my holiday house, mate, bro. It's your parents. <laughs> like, this is crazy. I love these windows, like. I know. I mean, they're actually doors. That's what I mean. But it opens up, and then you've got another glass thing, <gasps> so you can just. It's so cool. That's sick. It's a cool so idea, cool. eh? We just saw a dolphin. <gasps> oh, oh, the baby. Baby. We're making a cookie cake. Actually, might be ready. <gasps> um, that actually looks really good. We Are we going to do it like this? Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Who cares? Banana with a little bit of chocolate. Is it really hot? Mm. It's really inside. Oh, mm. she's a bit raw. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's not cooked. <laughs> no, that's oh, it. Oh. But it looks like. No, look at it. What's still raw? I think it's like half raw because it's the oven. I think it's stodgy. The oven. Yeah, it's obviously it's the, the oven. I told you. <laughs> oh, ovens make me dumb. <laughs> we have to do this thing. How did Jackie do it? Oh, Jack, <laughs> Bobby. <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I have a feeling your jumper is on the inside out. I mean, <gasps> back to it? front. I don't know. I just took my top off. Back to front. Why you get like, stripping in the very kitchen? Very bulky jumper. <laughs> your boobs are looking fabulous. <laughs> we put it back in to try to keep cooking grill. it, and we accidentally grilled it. Yeah, it was definitely <laughs> really quite cool. No, that's a fair call. That was my husband's fault. Don't tell him. That. Bobby. Hobby, oh, stuffed up. So you can find this recipe on Sunny. Start. It'll be up next week. <laughs> yeah. It actually doesn't taste bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> your whole face, like your cheeks are like. Oh, no. <coughs> if you wake up my son, up. you can come back to sleep. He goes to get over it and goes, you know what? I'm gonna get on it. Crunch E. Wife material. Too bad you guys are already taken. Yeah, sorry guys. What do you do? Yeah. We haven't even said grace yet. No one else is eating. Look at the spread. So good. Are we grown up? Are we grown up or what? Like this is such an adult trip. So good. Hungry Jackson. Potatoes. All right. 
Ready, Fox? Ready. God, we thank you so much for uh, this weekend. We thank you for all the, the good times we've had, Lord, the conversations and the laughs and the carrying on. Thank you for the food that's um, laid out in front of us today. Thank you for all the hands that went into preparing this. Bless it to our bodies, Lord. And um, we thank you for tonight. In your name, amen. 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 Good morning. It's the last day today. <laughs> you, can't, you can't eat that first thing in the morning. Give me those biscuits. Give me those biscuits. You just picked up a tin tam off the date table. Do you think it's acceptable to be eating a biscuit in the morning? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my goodness. What's he eating? A biscuit? He stole it from the a table. A biscuit or a tin tam? A tin tam. <laughs> Oxy, come here. Yeah, he saw the table. He saw the opportunity and took it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> he literally took another one off the bench. So up there and he grabbed it. This is not funny, Fox. Yuck. 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 What are you doing? Are you like, what? You're drooling. Stop that. Oh my goodness. Say bye to him on camera. Say bye bye. Bye bye. We'll see you soon. Yeah. Oh, God, Thank you. 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 Thank Obviously we are at home now. We just got home. It's well, we've been home for like half an hour. It's 8.16, which you can't really see, but just believe me. I'm pretty sure the boys just got home. Kurt just took Fox up the road to get almond milk because we need to put Fox to bed and he has like a bottle, like a comfort bottle to go to bed. And we realized when we got home, we had no milk. So he's just gone up to get that. And we're rushing around trying to kind of like tidy the house and unpack because Kurt is off to Queensland for a photo shoot at like 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. So we're just like washing some stuff and getting it all packed. But I was I was about to jump on Insta story and discuss this question that I've gotten so much in my DMs. I was doing some Insta stories of like the chocolate spread we were eating and like different stuff we were eating over the weekend and just like explaining how I was really loving unwinding with my friends and just like spending quality time with them. And when you go on holidays with friends and family, I feel like for a lot of people and for me and my friends, a lot of the socialization and the fun comes in food, like preparing food together and deciding where you're gonna go and eat and going out to brunch and going out to lunch. And, and on the back end of that and talking about that, a lot of my DMs are like, how do you eat healthy when you're away? And like, how do you not have anxiety? And I think a lot of this has come with age. Like I'm turning 29 this year, so I'm 28 now. I'm not gonna lie, back maybe when I was like 22, I would not wanna go on trips. I'd be like so anxious about what I was gonna eat and was it going to make me gain weight or look a certain way or make me go five steps backwards. But I've just been living a pretty holistic, healthy, active lifestyle for so long now, like over 10 years. It's all about balance. And at the end of the day, I eat healthy and I work out to be happy and be the happiest version of myself. And it's not to always have abs and to look a certain way. That's just like a byproduct of eating healthy and of being active. It's feeling confident in my skin and looking a certain way. But at the end of the day, life is about experiences and making memories and just being happy. And what makes me happy is being relaxed. And like, I love eating a wholesome, healthy diet pretty much all the time. But don't get me wrong. Like when we were away this weekend, I had everything I have is like dairy-free, gluten-free because I can't eat those things. But it doesn't mean that it's healthy. Like we got so many different dairy-free chocolates and we were snacking all the time and we were always eating like even if we weren't hungry we were just like having like salsa and dip and crackers and things like that and that's just for our friendship group like we always have a grazing board and like we're always snacking on stuff and I don't feel guilty because I made the best memories and in like 50 years I'm not going to look back and say June of 2021 I had such a great body and I was so strict and I ate this certain way and my abs look like this I'm going to say remember that trip we all went on when Fox was this age and you guys didn't have kids like that's the stuff we're going to 
talk about. So I think it's all about balance and having a healthy mindset for me is the biggest and most important component of a healthy lifestyle. Yeah, I just kind of eat intuitively. I pretty much eat how I eat at home. I just eat a lot more when I'm on those kind of trips. So yeah, I was gonna jump on Insta story and kind of like discuss how I'm at this point in my life where I'm genuinely so calm and so happy and I have no anxiety and like going on holidays and stuff like that with my friends, the boys are home. But yeah, when I was younger, I would have totally oh, felt anxious about that. You gonna go to bed now? I'm gonna say that first night though, I definitely overate. I didn't even realize it until we left. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, Kurt just said he ate so much rubbish. We haven't been eating great. But it's okay, we gum, made memories. Gum, gum. Did you have a fun weekend with Jack? Yeah. And Brenton? Beth. And Beth? Beth. And Tay? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to go on holidays with them again? Yeah. It was so fun, wasn't it? Mm, no. and, and you got to eat lots of yummy food and play at the park and ride your bike. Say goodnight. Bye, Grandma. Bye. Say no no. No no. Low kiss? That's so lovely. Boy. Say, we hope you liked this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'm sorry I didn't, oh, you say thumbs up? Thanks. I'm sorry I didn't vlog too much, but I was busy making memories, wasn't I? And multitasking with this crazy hurricane man. If you did like this vlog, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I upload new videos every single week. 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 Good night. Time to be calm. Come.